<laughs> what do this pair of socks and this fancy bottle of olive oil have in common? Absolutely nothing other than the price. They were over a hundred dollars each. Don't ask, I promise I'll make a video about the stupid shit I buy. Today is only about olive oil. I fell in a rabbit hole again. And by wanting to take things to the next level, I spent a little more money than I should have done. From $20 to $110. And by the end of this video, we will know if there's really a difference in taste between a $20 and a $110 olive oil. In the meantime, how do I know my olive oil is real? Why is that so expensive? And why the hell this thing is so healthy? Funny fact I found, about our precious Italian olive oil. This happened in 2016. Police in Italy nabbed 7,000 tons of phony olive oil. Much of it was bound for American stores. And more recently, in 2023, the Italian and Spanish authorities seized over 260,000 liters of extra virgin olive oil. Or rather, counterfeited extra virgin olive oil. Authorities say 42 tons of an oily substance was labeled extra virgin when it clearly wasn't. Turns out that they were cutting the extra virgin olive oil with lamp oil. You know the, the oil you put in lamps as fuel? And export it to people like you and me. Here in Canada, the United States, that has no clue what real olive oil tastes like. Not insinuating that if you're from USA or Canada, that you don't know what real olive oil tastes like. What I'm saying is here in America, it's not a cultural thing. And most people just go to the supermarket to buy their olive oil, trusting the labels, not knowing that they're being deceived by the big companies that import that oil. Also a bunch of companies that just mislabel their product, making you believe that they're from Italy, that this is extra virgin olive oil when in fact it's not. Which really sucks. How are we supposed to know that what we're buying is real olive oil without tasting it? So I found a test on the internet, but it's to test your olive oil that you already have at home to make sure that it's 100% real. You take your oil and put it in a jar, stick it in the freezer for 12 hours. If it comes back out solid, that means you have real olive oil. If it's not completely solid, that means that your olive oil was mixed with shittier oil. So what do we have here? 100% olive oil, 100% canola oil, and half and half. So we'll get back to that in 12 hour and see what's what. All right, let's see what happened here. So as you can see, olive oil is fully solid. F and F is a little bit solid and a little bit liquidy. Canola oil is fully liquidy. So for me, that seems pretty conclusive. The only issue is everyone's freezers and fridge doesn't have same temperature. Some freezers are gonna be much colder than others. Could disrupt the result a little bit. So that's why I got more tests for you a little bit later to make sure you have real olive oil. So in case you don't know what are the benefits of really good extra virgin olive oil, this is supposed to be amazing for inflammation. If you take two teaspoons a day every morning on an empty stomach, supposed to do wonders. It's supposed to protect you against heart disease, breast cancer, type two diabetes, have neurons protect your abilities. Basically, it's amazing for your heart and it protects that beautiful big brain of yours. And many more amazing benefits for you, like vitamins, healthy fats. EVOO is the healthiest and obviously the most expensive. If you didn't know, because I didn't, EVOO is just short for extra virgin olive oil. Look who decided to join us. He hates it when I film for some reason. He always goes in the other room. Yeah, <laughs> my and the reason why EVOO is more expensive, it's because it's the least process of olive oil. And due to this, it retains all the minerals and the antioxidant that makes it so healthy. One of the things that makes extra virgin olive oil healthier is the polyphenol count in it. What the hell is that, you ask? It's like a fancy name for antioxidant. The earlier the olive is picked from the tree, the more polyphenol will be in the olive. Where do I find this polyphenol count? Well, it's not on the labels. It's actually to the company discretion if they want to share it or not. 
Other than being a chemist or trusting the company's website when they actually want to share that information, it seems that there's no other way other than taste. It's supposed to be a bitterness sensation on the palate or a peppery feeling in the back of the throat. The bigger the burn, the higher the level. Now, let's taste. How to taste olive oil. Put it in the palm of your hand, cup it with the other hand, swirl the oil. Smell it first. Okay, let's try that. I swirl, I warm it up. Swirly, swirlies. <clears throat> yeah, right away. It, yeah, it's very peppery. Could I taste the difference between a really cheap olive oil and a really expensive? Yes, absolutely. And what do I think? Does more expensive olive oil is actually worth it? Depends of your priorities. If you want to maximize the health benefit, I think that the more expensive one are definitely the one you want to get because you really can feel <clears throat> the burn. So that means that there's more polyphenol and they do have a more refined taste. And that's just due to the quality of the fruit. But if you want just a, like a fresh, good tasting olive oil to put on your salad or to cook with, I think definitely you could go with something like this. It's $20, it won't break the bank and it's very good as well. The only difference is you don't get all the health benefits that you get with the more iron one. But I know it's kind of easy when you have all the bottles like this laid out in front of you and you just can taste and compare. But how do you know you're buying good olive oil without tasting it? The first one is traceability. That means you can know exactly where your oil is coming from from the farmer to your table. Some brands, you just go on their website and you enter the code of the bottle or you scan the QR codes on the label. Some are handwritten on the packaging or the bottle. Like this one, you know exactly how many bottles were made. And in the on the packaging, the harvest date and the expiration date. And I read somewhere that it's better to know the harvest date and not the expiration date. The expiration date here in stores, they can put what the hell they want on it. But if it's on the packaging from the company where you got it from, the harvest date is the one you wanna have. And the reason for that is simple. They say that their olive oil is best consumed before 12 to 18 months. The second trick is single estate. That means that the olives that were used for your olive oil were grown in one single farm. Third trick, single growth country. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. The fourth trick is simple. If it's really cheap, it's probably cheap olive oil. Something else I found while I was researching this liquid gold that you should always buy your olive oil in dark glass bottle, never in plastic. There was a study done by the UC Davis Olive Center in California showed that olive oil is actually corrosive to plastic. Basically means that you're getting particles of plastic in your olive oil and it won't stay as fresh as long. And maybe you're wondering, why'd you fell in that rabbit hole? Why olive oil? To be honest, I'm just in a quest of taking better care of myself. And you know, I'm interested in stuff that would make me healthier. And a lot of people consume these things daily thinking that we're putting our money in good, healthy produce when in fact we're not. And I just hope that that video might help you make more informed choices when you buy your olive oil. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I appreciate you. Like, share, subscribe, do all that great stuff. Thank you for the support as always. And I'll see you soon.